I'm with Mikey, and this is Michael, and uh, we're at 405 pounds on our 500 pound uh, goal that we have. Uh, we're going to try to put this thing to bed in the next week or two. Today we got the two trot lines. We made it with uh, mainly bluegill and some skipjack chunks. We got the five limb lines, and we have five jugs here that we're going to throw out up the river at a certain point, and then we're going to. Uh, check them on the way back down. So wish us some luck. This is what we're calling the barrier line. I mean, Berea. The Berea? <laughs> uh, it was a line sent in from Berea. Somebody made it. It's been hanging up over here on this side, but uh, currently we're running it on both sides. And again, if you're just joining us or if you're curious, this is Mikey. She's originally from Radcliffe, Kentucky. Yes. Lives not far from there now. Nope. And, uh, we're just gonna run the line and then we will bait it when we come back. I like to bait right before dark, but I don't like to record right before dark. I got both nets back here, so. If you uh, if you got a big fish, we'll use the big net and a normal size fish. Baby we'll, net. We'll use the re regular net. The baby net. Or you can use both, either net really. At the same time. Yeah. Extra I'll use, safety. I'll use one. You use the other. We'll get that fish in there. Somehow, some way. Now I will eventually get this line out. Maybe. It's okay. <laughs> Even if I gotta cut it. Pull it out from under whatever it is and tie it back together. The line's a little loose, but and that is also probably why it hung up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, shit. Hold on. You got a fish? I do. He's not having it with me. Was he big? Was he brown? He was blue. Blue. Mm-hmm. So, you see him? Oh yeah, it looks like a, looks like a medium netter. We don't have one, so yeah. Huh. A schmedium. <laughs> a schmedium net. He's a good size fish, though. Yeah. Especially since we got 405 pounds. Oh, look at that first try. In the net. Throw it, in. Throw it up in the boat. In the boat. Land it. Get this hook off. Okay, let me use my fancy materials that I got to me. Thank you so much. I'm Somebody actually going to use them. mailed these to her and she's very excited. I am because I can't get these out ever. All right, we got the fish off. The line's hung up, so we're going to the other side. Going to the other side. I thought about doing a uh, video where we only speak in lyrics. I would do that. You know I would. I always talking lyrics. I mean, we would have to really plan and think about it. But I always talk in song lyrics. Yeah, but like 100% lyrics. Every time you say some lyrics, I start singing every single time. 
We should do like a theme, like a certain like genre of lyrics, like R and B. Yeah. Dirty billow talk lyrics. All right, guys. This is the other side of the Berea line. We have, like I said, another trout line up the river, and five limb lines, and we're currently fishing with all the uh, jug lines. If you hear an aerator back here or a buzzing sound, that's we're trying to keep these bluegill alive. I turn it on and off as we go. Okay. All right. That net's right behind you there. Might get snagged. Oh, yeah. Something. Uh, always doing something, aren't we? We got some wind coming in this afternoon. Good. Need it. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow or maybe tonight. Thank God. Or at least a uh, 50% chance. Did you see the Weather Channel, like how they said uh, 8 to 14 day forecast above normal temperatures and it showed Kentucky in the bullseye of 99% and above? Really? Of being too hot? Yeah. I don't like being hot. I get irritated after a while. It has not rained here in Kentucky for a while or any significant rain. Yeah, boy, this water's pretty low. It's getting cold at night. Caught a good fish last yesterday, last video, and uh, we're really uh, trying to end this thing, or at least the uh, challenge part of it. And probably keep fishing in October. Uh, I got a couple plans for uh, some casual fishing. Casual. Yeah, get back to the casual fishing. Uh, this uh, got to do it. Although it has been a really good experience, because uh, when we originally said 500 pounds, I was like, I don't know if I could do it or not. I guess it sounded like it was plausible, and it appears that I was right. But at the time, it was like, what if we only get like 200 pounds? <laughs> so I have fished a little bit more than I normally would have, and. Uh, We've had a few good runs and we've nickeled and dimed some parts of it. And this run looks like has only produced the one fish. So at least we didn't get skunked. But yeah, I think we're coming up on the part where it's snagged. We're gonna bait this line and then head up the river to the limb lines first, one through five, and then the trout line. All right, guys, actually as a, before, we got the line out, baited the trout line, and it looks like this big old gar <laughs> had the line hung up down there, but we got it out, tightened it up a little bit, so. And uh, Mikey doesn't like gars that big. I'm pretty sure it's dead, I'm not sure. A hundred percent though. It's not moved for about 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm okay with it. All right, that. on to the limb lines. <laughs> Five limb lines, this is number one. We're gonna bait these, with, we're gonna bait these with uh, bluegill. Look at all them leaves. We're gonna put bluegill on these right after we run the next trot line. We got five of them, there's number two straight ahead. four and number five is right up the way here all right this is the Wally line Wally. named after a small town in uh, Louisiana I really like this trot line it's well made and uh, durable and it's actually kind of soft on your hands. I'm used to that abrasive. All right, hopefully we get some more fish. Oh. May have jinxed us. Listen, Michael, I'm in the boat too. We'll be okay. I am tickled that we got that line. She was just running the line, and I was like, "Well, it's it's hung up right in here, so drop it." And then she kept going, and I was like, "Wait a minute, it's mm -hmm. not hung up." Oh, there's something I can see. You got something? Mm -hmm. Really strong. Really strong. Well, don't don't come up on it too quick if it is. Right on that. I put goldfish or bluegill on this line yesterday, so 
particularly interested in what bit it. Now Gar obviously liked to bite it. Mm. You sure it wasn't oh, a shit. sinker? Mm. That's not a sinker, it's judging me. I'm getting closer to it. He's pretty strong, whoever he is. I'm pretty strong. I don't see any bubblers yet. Nope. Big dog, dude. Just be prepared to go the other way if it is anything. Prepare to stop, drop, and roll. Except for you don't want to roll out of the boat. That's not smart. Yeah, yeah don't fall out of the boat. Wait, wait. You see it? No, I'm just... I see some bubbles, though. Okay, where's it at? It's, it's about two hooks out. All right, we're going to get him to the top of the water, and if it's catfish, we're going to get him in. Oh, shit. Now, if he runs straight down, let him run. I am. Oh, you see him? Don't let him jerk too hard. I'm not. Oh, hello. Who are you? Who are you? Oh. Shit. All right, let's see. There's a sinker. There. We got oh, some good, good swirls. Let's, let's see where he is. Oh, God. He's pulling really hard. Well, don't, like I said, make sure, you, don't give him too much leverage. I'm not. He's right here. <gasps> oh, yeah, we got a big flat. All right, okay. let's get the big net out. Back up just a little bit. Back up. Let me get this camera Can set. you get me my big net, please? All right. I'm excited, guys. Do do. Do do. Do 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 do. He's fucking huge. Try to get your head, the head in there as best you can. I know. Man, that's I'm going to be standing up. Now, he has been fighting pretty hard, so eventually he'll get tired. But oh, but he could run. Oh, yeah, he's a good one. All right. If he runs, don't hold him too tight. I'm not. Oh, no. You're going to have to get his head. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. You gotta get right under his chin, but, but as he's coming down, like now. Got him. All right, hold it. Hold it. Now, I'm gonna pull a Nina, or uh, have to let you get it in, land it completely. Use those. Yes. <laughs> now that is a big old flathead. Hello. <laughs> I don't know if he's 20. He's a big daddy. But we'll, we'll have to weigh him individually here at oh the end. Oh my god, look at him! Yeah, that's a good one. I told you I felt it. Yeah, you did. I felt it. And we got some good bluegill to put back on this line. It feels good. Yeah. She's going to take the hook feels off. Good. All right, guys. I'm going to call it. He's over 20 pounds. Uh, we haven't weighed him yet, but we'll we'll go ahead and do a giveaway. And I was going to let Mikey figure out somebody yes. based on comments. Anybody that's commented, anybody that's emailed you, messaged you on Instagram, commented on Instagram, they're uh, going to win a $25 gift certificate because we do a giveaway every time we catch a fish over 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. So you got anybody in particular? Yes, Billy Phoenix. You're really cool. You always call me Sarge and you're always checking in and seeing if I'm okay. And you're always very polite and classy as a man. All so right. you get one. Billy Phoenix, email hooklinechill at gmail.com. Tell me you're Billy Phoenix, and I'll send you a $25 gift certificate to Cabela's. And I'll certify if it really is you or not, because I know who you are. Yeah, well, uh, I usually wait a couple of days, and if I get two of them, then we'll figure it out. All right, let's roll. You know what? Speaking of that, let's talk about men. So, I went yesterday to Cincinnati, Cincinnati. Had a great time, right? Well... I was going to get gas, and there was this guy creepily getting, like, nasty beer, right? I was like, meh. So, I'm sitting here trying to get my gas. He rolls past me and goes, hey, what you doing tonight? And I told him, not you. <laughs> because it made me think of those Scrubs by TLC 1999 song. Like, hollering out your best friend's ride. All that. Because mm -mm. he was the passenger, everything. It was great. Mm-hmm. He got very offended and he looked like, you know, the gingerbread uh, man from the movies who's like, you're a monster. You're a monster. He called me a monster. It was great. 
Yeah, some some cultures around the uh, country, you can go from one town to the next. And uh, sometimes I blame it on the girls, I, I'm not going to lie. Like, because guys are going to continually do what works for them. Or if it ever worked one time... They'll keep doing it, so. Well, I don't know who in the hell told him that <laughs> screaming outside of someone's car, saying, hey, what you doing tonight? Uh, it's well, gonna work. You never know, somebody may have answered him one day and said, hey. Uh, well, God bless that woman. Oh, wait, there's something over there, I don't know. Well, you know what? I'm just not that girl. I will not, ooh, oh shit. Oh yeah, we got another what? flathead. The flatheads are moving. It's a big one. I don't think he's near that size. Yeah, but it's still big. Yeah, he's it's some a big lay. He's some weight. It's big lay. Here, uh, well, you can use that net. It'll work. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna oh, do my classic stand up. Yeah, he's, he's he's pretty close to ten. He's one of them chilies, is what I call him. Chili. He's chili, chili, chili flavor. Pepper? He's chili flavored flathead. Chili flavored fly. Is it because he's spicy? Just look at him. <laughs> Compared to this one, that's like a normal flathead. Yeah, I thought he was a big one. Don't, yeah, don't, don't let him have too much leverage. I'm not. I'm trying to get my thing. Coming from the other side. I am. Hold on. Give him a little room. We've lost two or three in the last few days. Well, I'm not trying to do that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, some people complain that we don't have some kind of trout line hook on the front of the boat and we used to have all that and I just thought it was so aggravating I couldn't stand it so I took it off. I understand Michael. I get you. I used to have a lot of little things on the side of this boat okay. but trout line hanging up on enough times it's like okay that thing's done. All right chili that one chili. probably is close to 10 pounds so. Good size. We're about to weigh these fish we'll keep on going make sure here in a second but if not then we'll then we'll weigh these fish and then we'll kind of give the uh jug some time to fish and then go check on them right after we uh bait this line with bluegill no gar included all right guys we're gonna weigh these um we did catch this chilly looking catfish comment below if you know why maybe this one is darker than the the other one which is uh, kind of a normal flathead as far, as far as i'm concerned Normal <laughs> I like how you're trying to segregate against flatheads. Yeah. Uh, and we weighed it just now. It's 23. 23 pounds, so confirmed for the giveaway. So whoever that was. That Billy, you, you get your giveaway still. Billy gets the giveaway. Actually, you would get it either way. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you still get it. If I ever call it, it's, uh, it's on me. Then again, I do edit the video, so I could just cut that out. <laughs> Whatever. I wouldn't. And we're going to put all these fish in it and uh, we're just going to knock out the blue cat too the blue cat <laughs> he's been very upset this whole time your men are pretty chilly friend chili which is perfect because i just talked about tlc and chili is one of the members yeah and did you know that a catfish can live out of the water for several hours uh, a lot of people don't know that. Sometimes I get like comments from people, you know, maybe PETA, I don't really know. And they're uh, they're very disturbed because the catfish are laying in the bottom of the boat. Now, fish with scales, that is true. Catfish, you know, keep them a little bit wet. And, you know, especially a big one like this, they'll stay alive for hours. Actually, the internet claims, you know, 18 to 24 hours for some fish. I would say you're safe for an hour, which is about as long as we're out here. So grab this. And hold it up as long as you can. Just like that. I'm like, even it out. All right, keep on rolling. Okay, hold on, it's going, it's going. 10 more seconds. 10, nine. Michael. 39, 39. All right, guys, that's 39 pounds plus whatever we might catch on the jugs. So, <laughs> and the limbs, if there's limbs, we passed the limb lines. You, you, were you gonna check them? Yeah, okay. And so, we're gonna bait this line with some bluegill. I got some nice bluegill here. 
you know, all about this size. And we're going to put those on and uh, we'll be fishing until we win this uh, 500 pound challenge. So we went, right now we're at 400. So you said you were at 405 and yeah. you had 39. So you have 444. 444. Yep. Fours. 444. Four. The name of the video. Unless we catch another one. For you. This is the last jug, just in case. Out here by itself. Is it moving? Or are we moving? Is it a fish? Oh. Or, look at this. A clam. Or I'm not. <laughs> a mussel. <laughs> that is the first time I've ever seen that. That's awesome.